Resting peacefully in the Caribbean, 1,750 miles from Nashville, the island of Puerto Rico has been a U.S. territory since 1917. Nicknamed the Green Island because of its tropical climate and many rainforests, Puerto Rico is no Gilligan's Island, with over 9,100 square miles and tremendous natural resources. With endless seashores, several rainforests, rolling hills, delta, and mountains, it's an inspiring place to be. One of the most inspiring things about Puerto Rico is the growth of kingdom work among the four million residents and the development of a Southern Baptist convention on the island that plants and resources churches and missionaries. The people of Puerto Rico have been exposed to many world religions and continually struggle to determine the truth. God has used men like Pastor Rene, whose faithful leadership over decades has helped build the congregation of Glenview Baptist Church in the city of Ponce, where over 2,000 people gather for worship each Sunday. God is also using men like Santiago, Mike, and Juan Luis to make disciples in the smaller towns and villages. In October 2006, the National Baptist Association entered into a partnership with the Puerto Rico Baptist Convention to seek ways to strengthen each other's ministries. Since that time, our association has sent vision teams and leaders to get to know the people and the needs of the Puerto Rico Baptist Convention. And the Puerto Rico Baptist Convention has sent teams to Nashville to help encourage and better equip some of the ministries of our Spanish-speaking churches. At the leadership level, our entities have shared encouragement and inspiration from each other. However, we believe it is a vital part of this partnership to enable our churches and church members to also share in these experiences. Our association will be planning for mission teams from Nashville to go to Puerto Rico in 2009 to partner with specific churches with specific needs to provide for those needs and to foster kingdom encouragement between the participants from each area. We have sent a team from the NBA and have personally met many of the pastors and seen their needs. A few churches have construction-related needs. Some desire to host community events such as block parties or sports venues, but almost all of the churches can use help for vacation Bible school. Well, in here in Puerto Rico, we have a lot of things to do. Uh, really, uh, most of the, uh, what you see in every church is uh, the need. Most of them construction, repairs. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, need uh, people to come to share evangelize. Uh, also, uh, we need uh, for Bible school. Uh, there are a lot of things we could do. Uh. Labor, teach, pray, cook. There are many tasks to be done. The Puerto Rico Baptist Convention has designated a wonderful liaison to work with us. Pastor Victor Morales is very experienced and capable of helping us take care of all logistics for our trips. Some of our churches might send a large group, and others may only have one person who can go, but all are invited to take part in this initiative. A church team may choose to stay together for a specific task, or individuals may partner with those from other churches to work on different tasks. Depending on the time when you can make the trip, all of our teams may have housing provided in the same area, which will allow teams to go different directions during the day and to reunite in the evenings. The seminary campus in southern San Juan also houses the offices of the Puerto Rico Baptist Convention and is available to us for free lodging during our trips on certain weeks. This facility offers a secure area with accommodations for food preparation, sleep, leisure, and even a swimming pool. Fruit grows on almost every tree in the area and all types of stores are nearby. The culture of Puerto Rico is similar to that of the states in that transportation, food, and lodging is much like it is here. There is an abundance of American fast food restaurants and even Home Depot. However, as you might expect, the primary language spoken is Spanish, so we can use quite a few interpreters for our teams. The people and churches of Puerto Rico are very capable and efficient, and you will find that our presence there brings positive attention to the churches trying to reach their communities. Although we can arrange for you to send a team at most any time in 2009, we are seeking to send up to 60 individuals to serve whatever time they can over the course of July 15th through the 31st. There will be one to two NBA mission team leaders in Puerto Rico during this time to make sure your team has what it needs. You may be able to serve during both of these weeks or just one. We will work with you to make travel arrangements, 
to and from the island and while on the island. We estimate the cost of this trip to be $750 to $1,000 per person, and a passport is not required for travel to Puerto Rico. Leisure time and activities will certainly be available for you to have a most fulfilling experience on the Green Isle. Everyone may not be called and able to go to Puerto Rico to take part in this missions initiative, but if you are, let's get ready for an experience of a lifetime. The thing is, just have your heart. <laughs>